love you so much, Bailey. It hurts. Like I have the I biggest am. girl crush on you ever. So excited to meet you. Oh my God. My we have friend been, who- been obsessed. Telling me about that. She was like saying how you were like commenting on my stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I literally love her. That's insane. I messaged her and I was like, I sent a picture of me like mm-hmm. voting for you guys. And I was like, oh, I did it. <laughs> I, I voted for you guys as well. Oh, really and Jeremy, you became our favorite. You literally. Went, well, let's let's intro. Okay, and talk sorry. About it. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to After the Island. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Alex, and we have Jeremy and Bailey with us. Hey, Hi. hey guys, how are you guys doing? Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, crazy ending, crazy experience. Um, just happy to be here. Happy to made it out with Bailey and. Uh, I guess ready to get back in the real world. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. So it's like weird. Like, I don't know what to do with myself anymore. Like, we're like, what do we do? <laughs> when do we wake up? Like, it's so Literally. weird. Yeah. You're like, where are the cameras? Where's my mic? <laughs> yeah. I keep, yeah. I keep going like this when I wear like shirts. Mm-hmm. I always would pull down my mic. I have like muscle memory. <laughs> yeah. It's so true. It's so true. Like convinced you're like still being recorded and watched. And yes. then I'm like, wait, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> like sometimes I'll be like talking and like whispering or something. I'm like, <laughs> why, why are we whispering? Like no one's around. And we've been like all out here together. And like when we're all like we were drinking a little bit the other night. And when we were like all about to take a shot, I was like, okay, no, someone give the toast. Like, yeah, I agree. <laughs> we were, like what else have you guys been up to since you've been out um not a whole lot just kind of hanging out um you know talking to some of the people um just i mean kind of doing the same thing we were doing in there but just more relaxed and you know chilling and making plans and that whole thing to see each other go on trips all that stuff so it's uh it's been nice i think we're all we're all ready to get out in the real world, but it's like, we got back our phones and everything. We're like, what do we do with this? This is so weird. Yeah. It's such a fun, but awkward time. Yes. Like we, you know, thinking back to that period, like it was so fun, but like such a weird adjustment coming back into everything. It really is. It's so weird. Yeah, it is weird. Just like not, I even have like, I haven't reached out to all my friends yet because I know it's going to be like, I'm going to be on the phone for forever with them. And I'm just like taking it all in, taking it all in, but, that's the only way to do it yeah it's the only way to do it so before we start asking you guys like questions I kind of wanted to take it all the way back to day one Jeremy Alex and I literally pinned you as our least favorite (laughs) and by the end of the season (laughs) you became our favorite and like we both voted for you (laughs) like we voted for you guys as a couple but it was so funny like we would say the funniest things on our recaps like the fact that you were like you had uh, the, you were a cat with nine lives, a cat with nine lives, or like the cockroach that we like couldn't get rid of. Because I said you're going to you survive like, World War Three. <laughs> it was so funny. Hey, and there's a zombie didn't... apocalypse. You want to be around it? So no, exactly. literally, literally, you don't. You might not want to couple up with him in the villa yeah, in the beginning, <laughs> but you do want to be with him on the apocalypse or World War Three. Just mark that. Mark that down. Exactly. It was a crazy. <laughs> He always said he was on America's Most Wanted. Like, okay, yeah. <laughs> America's Most Wanted. <laughs> I think um, what sold us on you was the clip of you dancing around in the guy's dressing room. I'm sure you haven't had a chance to check all of it out, but you're like, he has no personality. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, really funny. Yeah, I I remember doing that and I like you do things in the villa and you're like, there's no way they're gonna air that. Like it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Yet they do. So it was just funny. I don't know. Uh, so I'm glad funny. My, my personality and who I was pretty much the whole time, like kind of I don't know, they just shed more light on it because I know there there's more important things happening in the villa with you know the relationships other than just like showing my weird goofiness so you know <laughs> I mean I know that happens but I'm glad the last week or two I was able to kind of like really show that and you know have some of my um some of the people <laughs> that hated me maybe start to like me a little bit that was, that was nice. <laughs> I don't think anybody really hated you no, it was we like just we just got you. nothing we got nothing yeah. and it was confusing because we interview you know all the islanders when they leave and everyone would come out and tell us Jeremy is so funny. And we're like, wait, what? Jeremy is funny. We were so confused. 
And then and after that, we started to see it and we were like, okay, he's hilarious. The same thing would happen Everyone to me. The same thing would happen to me. Like every new person that would come in, whether it was a girl or a guy, I would like have a chat with them or I'd be hanging out. And they're like, yo, you look really bland on TV. Like what happened? Like, you're like really funny. <laughs> very nice or whatever I was like dude, I don't know but <laughs> um I mean I guess everything happens the way it's supposed to happen I'm glad I got to you know stay and show my true side or you know it got to come out but uh yeah it was fun it was a, it was a wild ride but it was fun <laughs> I thought that too coming in like you just don't know watching it beforehand my mom literally told me like don't go for two <laughs> like, he's not like fun or exciting or anything and then I met him and it was like totally the opposite of that oh, like right no well, she likes walk now but like you just didn't get to see his personality from the beginning because there's so much about like the romantic relationships but then like all the new people when Andre and Casey came in like us three newer girls and them were all talking we're like yeah Jeremy's like so much better than we expected and everyone <laughs> which is good you want to be better in person yeah and he's like <laughs> if you're tired of always having to figure out what to eat then you need to check out hello fresh hello fresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips their meal kits allow you to have dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes plus the produce in their kits gets from the farm to your door in less than a week instead of searching for fresh high quality ingredients it's simply delivered to you last night alex and i watched the finale together we did italian night so Ooh. we made pasta it was Ooh. great they gave us all the ingredients right here it had my whole apartment smelling amazing too it was like we didn't even need to have a candle because it just all smelled like italian -ness. Yum. i'm italian and, oh, yeah we love italian and this summer isn't over yet, so if you're looking for easy grilling, you can get HelloFresh's grilling bundles, burger packs, surf and turf packs, and more. Just go to HelloFresh.com slash AfterTheIsland14. Use code AfterTheIsland14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash AfterTheIsland14. And use code AfterTheIsland14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. And one more message from our sponsors, Nutrafol. Did you know that 30 million women are impacted by weaker thinning hair? If you're one of them, you're not alone, and there's a solution you can trust to deliver results, Nutrafol. The supplement supports healthy growth, healthy hair growth from within by targeting the five root causes of thinning, stress, hormones, environment, nutrition, and metabolism. I say it all the time. I love Nutrafol. Take it every morning, and I, I've actually been noticing my hair getting a little bit thicker, which is very exciting because I had a traumatic hair experience a couple of years ago. Um, but healthier hair growth takes time. It could take up to three to six months to experience the change you're looking for. So you can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com and entering the promo code after the island to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, Free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code after the island. But Bailey, I feel like even with you coming in, we were like, holy shit. Like you, Showstopper. Ellie, and Alana came in and we were like, where were they this whole season? Like, I wish that you guys had come in so much earlier. I thought you, you guys as a trio were super strong, like great on television, you know, super like bright personalities to add to it. And you're all just stunning. And we were like, wow, <laughs> like it was great. It was so cool to see you and uh, you on your dates and stuff. And we saw it first, you know, you were into Corey. How did that kind of play out um, with you then ending up with Jeremy, like in your yeah. eyes? Yeah. I think just like from watching this show, it's easy to like adore Corey mm -hmm. And he is like so sweet. But like with him, I feel like what you see is what you get. Like I knew he was going to be really nice and coming in, he was really sweet. Whereas like Jeremy surprised me a lot. And like we just kind of have that fun, sarcastic banter that no one else really had. And I didn't expect anyone in the villa to have really. So that was like very refreshing. And we just kind of got along so well. And it just like, I don't know, it made sense. It all happened like very naturally. Yeah. You know? So it moved at, yeah, it like moved at a great pace. I feel like, um, it was kind of like a pace that you move on the outside world. Like everything kind of just like fell into place and it was nice. And, you know, I don't know, we really didn't have that much time together, but it felt like, 
I don't know, our time was extended just because we were having such a great time. So yeah. And the pool day. I think the pool day was where like you really shine. I did love the pool day. I want to do the pool day again. <laughs> that was when we did like the chicken wrestling. Oh chicken. yeah. When everyone's yeah. implants were like flying out. <laughs> <laughs> like Bailey, Bailey said that she was like, "Oh my God, everyone's implants are exploding." <laughs> I we, had just, we had the water balloon fight. Oh, the- <laughs> and I like, I like, I threw one kind of hard. And Shannon I was, had a literal well. No, it was, <laughs> it was Atlanta. It was Atlanta. Oh, yeah. All and the girls basically. And like, I threw it. I think I was like trying to hit like Will or someone that was like right next to her. And it barely oh, no. like landed right there. And she had like a well and like you were like, did it pop? Like, <laughs> oh. like no. <laughs> I felt kind of bad. Injured. She wasn't injured though. She was like, Yeah, I felt really bad. But she was like, Good thing like, God. Like, yeah. All implants are intact. I want a slow-mo <laughs> of that shot. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh. It must have been her so hard. It was like a mark, a weld, literally. <laughs> oh my god. It's yeah. so fun it's even watching you guys right now. Your can or like your camera yeah. chemistry at least is incredible. Like I'm like, wow. Yeah, you guys just are always laughing. I love it. Um I need to know, Jeremy, I know you were coupled up with like a few women. I honestly don't remember all of them off the top of my head. <laughs> but if if Bailey had come in while you were coupled up, do you think that you would have your head would have turned? That's such a good question. Why haven't I asked that yet? I don't know. <laughs> it's good. No, no. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, whose head wouldn't turn for Bailey? I mean, mine definitely did. So um, I think, you know, more so I was single. So it was like easier. I didn't really have to deal with anything like that. But I, yeah, 100%. I mean, it's not even a question, obviously. Um, and, you know, obviously your head turns for someone's beauty initially. But you really want to get to know them as a person. And like, even just our first date, I was like, wow, like, she's really cool. And we connect so well. We just talk. And like, like in the villa, I know it's different than in real life, but it's kind of the same thing. Like when you have a first conversation with someone, if it's awkward or if you have to like think in your head, like, oh, what should I ask them next? Mm-hmm. You're like trying to make the conversation, like, uh, <laughs> conversation <laughs> last longer. Um, it's hard. And it's like, if it doesn't flow naturally, I don't know if you really want to keep getting to know that person. I know there's like awkward first dates and you can move past that, but if it's just like, if you're struggling to like feel that spark or chemistry, I don't know. And it was, it just happened naturally. It was perfect. So yeah, it did. But I think I didn't know in the beginning for a couple of days, I didn't know that you liked me. Well, everyone said after the pool day, cause we were like, very flirty the whole time yeah but I didn't know what you thought of me like initially after a date and then I saw a little clip we got out and when you walked back in the kitchen he was like dude she is so dope and so like, <laughs> I was like wait that's so cute I wish I it was like yeah, yeah it was at the day when we came back like cleaning the place yeah. after making the dinner and stuff and we're all like yeah. geeking out and <laughs> that was so cute that literally not my heart. I love that <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. I know it's great. There was um a part in the show a little earlier on, Jeremy, that people got confused by with um everyone was like, I mean, it's like funny now because not a big deal, but they were like, Oh, you lied about this, you lied about this about telling Flo or Florida, Florida. Sorry, that you did, were friends with Amy or that you wanted to be friends or that you friends owned her, and we don't yeah how did that play out yeah so um so basically like amy and i kind of got together coming off of trina and when i was with trina and um it like honestly it, we naturally flowed really well me and amy like i felt like i would say this to everyone i was like i felt like we were friends on the outside world for like five or ten years and i would tell amy that too because it it was so easy to connect with her and talk with her. Like we'd have great pillow talks. We'd sit up all night and just kind of talk. And it was like really nice. And, you know, but we didn't want anything serious. Like we kind of went in with like, an not like an open, I don't know, just like an open mind. Like if she wants to talk to someone else, you know, to get to know them, she can. And, you know, she did that with Isaiah. Like she was getting to know him and trying to figure out like if she likes him or something like that. And, um, and obviously when Florida came in, like I really wanted to pursue her and I told Amy like straight up cause she told me about Isaiah and we were open and honest with each other. And I was just like, yeah, like that's, you know, what I want to do. Is that okay? Like, 
how do you feel about that? I don't want to hurt your feelings. She was like, no, like she pushed me to do it. She's like, you're good. Like, it's all good. So, um, the friend thing, I was like, I guess Florida was asking me like, is she okay with this? Like, what are you guys? Cause if you guys are like incredibly serious or like, I'm not, I don't want to get in the way of that. And I basically said like, no, like we're best friends in the sense that like we tell each other everything, like she knows I'm pursuing you. And I think, I guess it came out as, oh no, we're just friends. She doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah. And like, it was the furthest thing from that. Like, honestly, like I was, I would have never like said that or had it come out that way. And um, obviously, yeah, I guess it just, (laughs) it made me look kind of bad because we really did have a strong connection. And even though we were kind of both maybe pursuing different people, um, we still have that mutual respect and, and, you know, actually valued our connection. And I guess, you know, if someone took it as me just saying, Oh, she's just a friend, like, I don't really care. Um, you know, it was not, it was not that I was like, I literally said like, yeah, we're like, we're literally best friends. We tell each other everything. Like she knows I'm pursuing you all that. So, um, and we weren't like, there was no point in time when we were like, Oh yeah. Like I want to be boyfriend and girlfriend right now or start dating. We were just, you know, very open and everything. So, but yeah. And then the situation was obviously complicated. She was so mad after that. Yeah. That was, that was (laughs) not a fun recoupling for me. (laughs) (laughs) Well, in her hair and it like hits him in the face and the recoupling. It's so funny. She was, it was such a big misunderstanding. Yeah. Really. Really. Yeah. yeah. But like, yeah, I mean, also, I think it was Cinco maybe that talked to Amy or something. I'm trying to remember um, because she was like just mad about it. And one of the guys, I want to say it was Cinco, but I'm not trying to, I think it was, I'm trying to remember. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. A lot of things happened, <laughs> but I think he was kind of like, I mean, Amy, like what would you describe you guys as other than friends? Like, He's, you know what I mean? He's like, he's like, even if he did say that, you know, he's like, I don't think he said it in that way, but he's like, even if he did, like, what would you describe your relationship? Like you guys are close. You guys are friends. You guys are kind of pursuing or talking to other people. Like you're clearly not boyfriend and girlfriend. So, um, but yeah, like I have nothing but good things to say about Amy and all the girls I was coupled up with. Um, (laughs) even though it's a long list, I feel like, I feel like definitely, uh, I was maybe portrayed as like a player and jumping from girl to girl, but really it was girls were getting dumped from the island. So like I was single and I had to like, you know what I mean? Like I was trying to stay open-minded and building other connections. It's not like I was like, you know, with a girl and they're like, Oh, go to the next girl or the next girl. Like I really did make a genuine connection with like Trina, for instance, but we wanted different things. And I was like, I'm not going to stand in the way of you being happy and fake anything. And, you know, I really genuinely wanted her to be happy. And I think she is. And she had such an amazing journey. We're such good friends now. So um, I feel like you have to be upfront and real with people in there. Um, Because if you're not, you're kind of like faking it and you're crippling your own happiness and also probably someone else's. So I definitely did not want to do that. But yeah, sorry. Like <laughs> that, was, that was a no, great that was answer great. yeah speaking of friends and friendships we loved your best friend proposal to Corey. obviously <laughs> one so of the funny. best things of the season but touching on that like a little further in depth how was it that you guys literally liked all of the same girls how did you guys handle the situation yeah. maybe maybe like tell us about the bailey situation because i know that was you both were like are you kidding me like we both like her yeah, it was funny because obviously coming off of the Florida situation, when Bailey walked in, we were all like, Corey and I, you know, we're sitting there and we're like, all right, what are these three girls that are coming in? Like, we were really excited and we're sitting there like, oh my God, are they going to be fun? Are they going to be hot? Like, what's going on? What's going on? And they walk in and we're both like, it was almost like Santa at the same time. We're like, Bailey. And I was like, no. <laughs> like, like we walk, yeah, like we walked away. It was like, I think it was after we walked the girls down to the mm-hmm. table and we sat you guys down and then we had to walk back to the kitchen and then bring out the food mm-hmm. and we brought you guys down we sat you guys down and we're walking back and i was like i literally i was like yo it's bailey for me like before he like yeah That's like so i literally cute. said that and and he was like yeah dude me too and I, oh, <laughs> ah, damn it. 42 like, damn it. 42 <laughs> 42 like, 
Um, I was like, damn it. And then obviously everyone was like, all right, I guess the pay-per-views are going to be sold out again for round two of fight night. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, uh, oh, that's funny. Yeah. Like making it awkward for you guys or anything. Cause like, I don't know, coming in, I thought I was going to like Corey, but then I like Jeremy and I was like, oh no, now I, now I'm like Florida 2.0 and I did not want to do anything like that coming in. So that was like awkward but you guys handled it so well like they talked it out they were super mature about it yeah we had experience with it okay we want to know kind of like what's next for you guys or like where you could see this going like do you have plans to visit each other um just you know the general what's next that everybody wants to know yeah um for us in there uh we were kind of just like not even thinking about the outside world at all because we were having so much fun and it was like we were in like, so what do you want after this? We were just kind of having fun. And then like, I feel like it was like our big final date was major for that. And then we kind of realized like, oh, the show is coming in and we actually need to think about that. Like, what, <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, obviously we live on the opposite sides of the U.S. But um, I think you actually, I think some of the people are coming to New York. Obviously, yeah. Though, so we might get to see each other sooner than we thought. But like everything we were doing in here, we're going to keep just doing on the outside world, like getting to know each other more, diving deeper in, you know, being, you know, I don't know, amazing together, <laughs> having fun. I mean, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be really different because obviously we're not like living together. We're not in the villa. We don't get to spend 24 seven with each other. But, um, you know, there's obviously if you try hard enough, things will happen. I mean, if you want something you know, bad enough, it'll happen. And if obviously if it's meant to be, it'll happen too. Like, you know, you see that throughout time in the villa and also on the outside world, like some things you think weren't meant to be, but they were, and they happened like Louis, Corey and Olivia and stuff like that. So, um, right. there's a journey to it and like, we're open to that journey and, you know, just excited to see what happens, honestly. Like, yeah. yeah. And we've done a really good job too, about like not putting a ton of pressure on ourselves yeah. and like taking everything at a real world pace even though it's like so accelerated yeah. in there like I think we've both been really good about managing our expectations and like being really realistic about it so mm-hmm. we're just gonna continue what we're doing and like keep it going what we have I think in the villa was really special and like just want to ride that out on the outside yeah and it's an interesting dynamic when you mix everything back in from the outside you almost like reel it back to the beginning where you, you know, you'll meet each other's friends or like, you know, do like kind of the first steps of a relationship kind of backwards afterwards. Like you already do these epic dates and stuff and confess all your feelings and whatnot. And then you like reel it backwards and you're like, this is actually my best friend or like, this is, (laughs) you know, how I go about my day-to-day life outside of here. So it's really interesting that you'll get to like relearn all of that, but we're really excited for you. Yeah. We love you guys. If you're tired of always having to figure out what to eat, then you need to check out HelloFresh. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips. Their meal kits allow you to have dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes. Plus the produce in their kits gets from the farm to your door in less the than a week instead of searching for fresh high quality ingredients it's simply delivered to you last night alex and i watched the finale together we did italian night so we made pasta it was great they gave us all the ingredients right here it had my whole apartment smelling amazing too it was like we didn't even need to have a candle because it just all smelled like italian Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah yeah, we'd love italian and this summer isn't over yet, so if you're looking for easy grilling, you can get HelloFresh's grilling bundles, burger packs, surf and turf packs, and more. Just go to HelloFresh.com slash AfterTheIsland14. Use code AfterTheIsland14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash AfterTheIsland14. And use code AfterTheIsland14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. And one more message from our sponsors, Nutrafol. Did you know that 30 million women are impacted by weaker thinning hair? If you're one of them, you're not alone, and there's a solution you can trust to deliver results, Nutrafol. The supplement supports healthy growth, healthy hair growth from within by targeting the five root causes of thinning, stress, hormones, environment, nutrition, and metabolism. I say it all the time. I love Nutrafol. Take it every morning, and I, I've actually been noticing my hair getting a little bit thicker which is very exciting because i had a traumatic hair experience a couple of years ago um but healthier hair growth takes time it could take up to three to six months to experience the change you're looking for so you can grow thicker healthier hair and support our show by going to nutrifull.com and entering the promo code after 
to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere, and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code after the island. Jeremy, there is one of the funniest rumors out, and I just need to clear, I need you to clear the air. Me too. I know what you're going to say. Is your dad a producer? (laughs) What is your dad's job? Be honest. (laughs) No, no, no. He does not work for CBS. And I was, I didn't know that was a rumor, obviously, until I got outside. And um, (laughs) my best friend told him because I FaceTimed her. And that was the first thing she asked me. She goes, (laughs) Never there's CBS, full, like, I was like, what are you talking about? There's full-fledged articles about it, like saying, like, <laughs> um, on the family day, my mom showed up and my dad didn't. And they're like, yo, like, let this man have his lunch feel- break so he can be on the show. Like, this is so sus, all this stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is Wait, literally- that's so funny. That is so I actually did think about that when I saw your mom, because I was like, oh, like. Maybe it's true, but I literally sat here and I vouched for you. I was like, there is just no way that this man's dad works for CBS. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? If my dad worked for CBS, there's no, I'd be, it'd be me and him for making me in the bottom three. All the yeah. Time. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you serious talks? Did yeah. you Google it and see the guy that has, you know, the same last name as you that's like one of the top producers for CBS or board members? Wait, really? Oh, yeah, that's why everyone right? thinks that because it's the same last name. Oh, I had no idea. That makes way more sense. That makes I didn't sense. know that either. I was, yeah, I looked it up oh, and everything. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! So they that think that's your now. dad. Because I was like, they can Google my dad, but I guess I don't know if I. I think I said my dad's name maybe at one point on the show, but I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. But yeah. Wow. Okay. You're well, like, I wonder if they uncle. have the same that's name. You're like, it's not actually my dad. It's my uncle. <laughs> my uncle. <laughs> but, yeah, it's like, <laughs> No, that's so funny. Yeah, I just think it's like hilarious. But I guess the rumors that get started, it's so unbelievable. Fun. They're wild. I, you guys are probably like know about all this, but like I was like, I came out, I was just like reading all this. I was like, what is this? Like there was one article that said he had a dog named Bailey. And we were like, no, he doesn't. Like, yeah. what is that? It's all, so I guess that's like just all sorts of stuff that is funny and people write. I don't know. It's it's interesting. It's interesting. Hopefully I can break that, uh, that rumor. And well, now we you can... have read it on your side. So yeah. you, you have yes, all the I, I, gosh, I, have to... I was like, people are probably on Reddit. Like don't vote for this guy. Screw him. And turned out. Oh Reddit no. Reddit, now, Reddit loves you. Loves you. That's stand so Jeremy. <laughs> That's so yeah. My roommate like texted me after this. He's like, yo, like Reddit loves you, man. Like, don't worry about it. Like, right, cool. Also, <laughs> Oh, Reddit's I love you. approval Reddit. is amazing. <laughs> Reddit is so cutthroat. To have Reddit's approval, like you've you've really done something. That's good. That's good. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm about that. I definitely don't want to get there back. Too. <laughs> well, cool. I know we're like running out of time. Yeah. Unfortunately, we could talk to you all day. I have so many more questions, but maybe tell us one of your like favorite memories. Each of you, it could be anything like from off camera or it didn't make make airtime. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. There's so many. Yeah. That is really hard. Our date, I think, was one of my favorite things. Like our final the date. The final date was amazing. Because we'd been talking about how much we love sushi for like the entire time. And we showed up and it was like, there was sushi. Yeah. Ever, and we were just like so, so just, We were like, oh. Like, really like, like, really like, I, I, I wanted to talk about the suit, like the sushi more, but I was like, I feel like people are not going to get that. Like, yeah. Because like it's her favorite food, it's my favorite food. We were talking about it a lot. And, like sometimes it's little things like that that can like, surprise you and just like i don't know make you happy with a little mm-hmm. like you know oh wow they actually like they know and all that stuff and then everything else surrounding that date was pretty crazy it like it felt like a date you'd have in like real life obviously maybe if you're really extravagant you know i don't know <laughs> i was like we can go for sushi whenever you want i don't know if i can hire flame dancers yeah. like on every time but um yeah it was just it felt like really normal and nice and i don't know it was it was pretty amazing and definitely and very very top if not my number one highlight of my whole stay there it was it was unreal and I don't know making all the bonds was crazy I really didn't think like coming in I didn't have high expectations or low expectations I just didn't have any because I don't like honestly I don't really watch a lot of reality tv I don't know how it works you've never seen a show before coming in (laughs) you guys probably amazing incredible went in just completely blind (laughs) 
I like, yeah, like they would, everyone would be talking about things and I'm like, wait, what does that mean? Who's that person? Like I was, oh I was so in the dark. Um, but yeah, like coming in, I just thought like, oh, like this is out of my comfort zone. Like hopefully, like it's like a new kid going to school. Like hopefully the kids aren't mean. Like I was just <laughs> like, you know, but it was amazing how literally phenomenal every person was. Like the girls, the guys, every new person they sent in. Um, it was like an immediate like family connection. It was un- it was unreal. And I just kept sitting there going like, wow, like I'm waiting for them to send in a bad person because just they keep sending like great people and, you know, it's all that stuff. And like the guys had a super tight bond, but also like the girls and the guys did too. Like the girls that, you know, they were like my sisters and we were like all like just very close knit. And I don't know that, that made the experience so much better because if you're not connecting with a lot of the people or you just feel left out, it could, you know, I could be terrible. And that's why like when any new person would come in, I would just kind of be like, listen, just be yourself. Like, we're not going to mm-hmm. judge you. You're immediately part of our family. You don't have to prove anything like you're in. So it was nice. I don't know if it showed it either, but like him and Corey just like could have coupled up. They were like <laughs> actually in love with each other. <laughs> the yeah. two days that they had to share a bed were horrible. Because we, they like, never I, don't know if they, yeah, I don't know if they showed it, but we would stay up laughing for maybe two hours. Like, I don't know if you no. remember, like, I was a kid and like you're not supposed to laugh in a situation. So you start laughing and we would just be like, like put 10 the, year olds. we were literally like 10 years old. Like we're putting like the pillow over our face and laughing into the pillow. Cause <laughs> still shut up. And like, I like, he would get quiet. And then I would like whisper a joke in his ear and he'd like fall off the bed and like <laughs> the wall laughing. And like, it was hilarious. It was really funny. I don't think everyone loved it, but we loved it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we got to see that, yeah, but I'm glad we got to hear it. Cause that is so funny. And I can just totally picture it. Like you just painted a picture. Yes. It's hilarious. I've, want to see that now even after the dirty laundry like the girls are having such a serious chat about like how like some of the tweets are the really, tweets like, we were all really upset and like the guys had finished their chat like maybe five minutes before you and we get up we get away and i'm like walking and Corey's like yo 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 he literally leans into me he's like get on, like, can i get on your shoulders can i get on your shoulders i'm like sure he gets on my shoulders and we're like running and i'm like running with him he's like acting like i'm a horse like they did show that yeah the <laughs> they like, did Cry. yeah wait Bailey I want to say this super quick I know we're running out of time but I felt like this was important the tweet challenge the one about you they must have scoured yeah. Twitter to find one negative thing because I didn't see a single negative thing about you anywhere, anywhere. so they must have found the one thing and I was like they did her so dirty with that because she probably thinks people are actually thinking that and no mm-hmm. one freaking thought that like yeah. that was not anywhere to be found Thank you guys so much. That's so nice. I literally thought people hated me after that. I was no, like, no, no, nobody crazy. thought that. Whatever. And that's not even just like an us trying to like make you feel better. Like no, I want no, you to like, know literally that no one thought that. Even if you go look it up and dig through it, like you're not going to be able to find anything. Like it's almost like the tweet was fake. <laughs> Makes me feel way better. Oh, because I totally thought like it's so no. easy to get mad when that's like the only thing you hear. Exactly. And then, like, mm-hmm. Coming out, it's been super positive so far. I'm like, oh. This is great. Maybe I didn't come off like a jerk. So. You did not. No, you not did not. And I think that was the purpose of it was to get in your head a little. And that's mm-hmm. why we thought it was a little, the digital little dirty there. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. My feelings, my feelings are very hurt after that. Oh, I, know. I know. I felt bad. I made you feel better. I mean, yeah. 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 We laughed about it a lot. But and I think laughter is the best medicine. Yeah. For us. Yes. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Obviously, no. we want to talk more to you. Maybe we can no. like hit you guys up at some other yeah. point, but so Sweet. nice to meet you. Thank yes. you so much for coming on. We are so excited to see where you guys go and what you guys have next planned for you. So we are going to link both Bailey and Jeremy's socials below. Go follow them, show them love. And thank you guys again. We love you. Yes. Thank you guys. We appreciate it. Bye. Have so much fun in Hawaii. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I'm like, Kelly, I'm getting your number and I'm texting you. Yes, yes, text me. Oh my God. I'll okay. <laughs>